Russian writer Alexander Pushkin once said, the illusion which exalts us is dearer to us than 10,000 truths. If Pushkin had lived in the 20th century, he would have had a heyday browsing through UFO literature. In this strange world, where faith is often more important than knowledge, swindlers abound. The world is full of tricksters of the imagination. Since the early 1950s, a rumor has persisted in UFO circles that one or more flying saucers crashed in one of the largest American deserts in Arizona, New Mexico, or Utah. And what's more, according to witness reports, not only did the American army recover remnants of this craft, they also captured some of its occupants. Despite the army's silence, the mystery has lingered year after year. Should we or shouldn't we believe that aliens were captured? That is the question. The rumor grew as a result of information from various sources, such as Timothy Good, author of Beyond Top Secret. In Beyond Top Secret, I published the story of a Polish biophysicist who together with a team of French, British and Italian scientists was taken to a vault in the JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, where three levels below the floor level, they were shown materials, part of a skull and a hip bone of an alien creature recovered in New Mexico in 1947. They weren't given any further details, but subsequently this Polish biophysicist, whose information I, I use, comes up with some detailed scientific information about uh, what he learned about these creatures. However, despite Timothy Good's opinion, these unverifiable accounts do not constitute valuable proof in the eyes of non-believers. If they can't see and touch an alien, skeptics need more convincing proof than mere empty words. In the midst of ongoing debates between believers and skeptics, something spectacular happened. In the early 1990s, Raymond Santilli, a London-based film distributor, released an archived film that hit the world like a bombshell in both UFO circles and the general public. In the uh, sort of early 1990s, a film came to light, um, brought to the public by a chap called Bray Santilli, who effectively said that he had purchased canisters of film from someone in America who had shot them back in, in the 40s, and that what effectively they revealed was the autopsy of a captured alien at Roswell or at some similar sort of event, and, uh, and you see the eyelids being removed and you see bits of the body being looked at and so on. And, Either, I mean, there is, it has the merit of one thing. Either that is a genuine alien autopsy or it's a fake. There's no argument that this could be some kind of mistake, that it's something else or whatever else. It's either one or the other. 